this is Justin Kahn from the Decatur Herald and Review here at Monticello High School where tonight uh, it was the Sages defeating St. Teresa 22-16 to uh, cause a three-way tie in the Okaw Valley Black for, for the title. So, you know, all three teams share the conference title. Uh, there is a conference representative. I'm not sure which one it is. All three teams, Monticello, St. Teresa, and Tolona Unity will be in the playoffs. So, you know, in the end, it's not something that, that you know, really matters who's the conference representative or anything. It's basically a three-way tie. So, and, and like Coach Tim really said for St. Teresa, it's sort of fitting just because it just felt like those t three teams were so closely matched, um, you know, in games during the course of the season. So, and this one came down to a pretty wild wild play. Um, you know, St. Monticello couldn't do much on offense most of this game. A ton of punts. Uh, they just, especially in the first half, first three quarters even, they just couldn't move the ball. Finally got a sustained drive. Uh, later in the game to uh, to actually uh, get within two points and then um, they had to pull out a, a, a drive late in the game and, and they were able to get a 13-yard touchdown pass on a halfback pass play from Dylan uh, Nisley to uh, Ryan Bundy. Um, you know, it, it, St. Sharice had pretty good defense on it. The, the, the kid was, was pretty well covered, but he was able to, to grab the ball. Uh, Monticello's first touchdown of the night was also somewhat of a a little bit of a prayer type play where the quarterback Wildman was able to loft up uh, about a 30 yard pass. Uh, uh, Welling was uh, double covered in the end zone but it came down with the ball on a fourth down play. So you know a couple tough plays for Monticello where they really had to you know kind of pull something out they were able to do it. Uh, St. Teresa had a, a 70 yard touchdown run from Christian Williams called back and, and that hurt them. Uh, you know they just really couldn't move the ball off uh, on the ground consistently, and that's what they have to do to win games. Uh, Christian Williams made some nice plays with his feet and was, with his arm, but they're going to have to have ice him to have success. And and uh, you know he got he had one good 20-yard run. But besides that, they really did a great job uh, limiting him, and, and that was the key to the game. Uh, so you know th these two teams, uh, like Coach Brilly said, could end up meeting in the playoffs this year uh, in, in the first round even. So we'll, we'll see what happens with, with the playoffs. Um, coming up here, but uh, interesting game tonight. Uh, definitely a, a tight game, and what will we expect out of these two teams? Again, the final score, Monticello defeated St. Teresa 22-16. Make sure you check back to hrpreps.com for all the coverage.